AdWords text ads have a standard format. Uh, they're four lines altogether. The first line is a headline, which is up to 25 characters long. And then after that, there are two lines of up to 35 characters. And then at the bottom, there's the actual website address. Um, so it's not, not a lot of space to play with, which is why it's important to kind of think about what you want to put in there. You have to be concise um, and really kind of think about what's going to be the most effective message. You want to make sure that your ad stands out, that it's not just the same as everything else that's already on the page. Um, so try to think about the wording and the messaging that you use, any specific deals or promotions that you're running as well that might make you stand out from the competition mm -hmm. um, and really, really uh, can make you attractive to potential customers. So when I actually write this, what am I typing in and where and, and what and how long and everything? Yep. When it comes to writing your ad, there are a few important things to remember. Uh, the first one is to make it as relevant as possible. So think about the keyword uh, that you are showing ads for uh, and how to make your ad relevant to a search for that keyword, first of all. Um, also, if you're a local business, it's a very good idea to include um, the town that you operate in or the area so that you just really understand that that's relevant to their local search. One thing that you definitely want to do with all of your ads is include some kind of call to action that gives a user a reason to click on the ad. It really helps those ads to stand out. Uh, those are by far the ones that always perform best when it's really, really clear what a user can hope to achieve on your site by clicking on that ad, whether it's to buy a specific product or to get information about that product or to order online, get free delivery, whatever it is, include some kind of call to action. Is there like maybe a limit on how many I need to write or how do I know what's a good one and what's a bad one? Yeah, actually I would definitely suggest trying out two or three different ads associated with your campaign uh, rather than just one ad. Because if you have multiple ads, you can actually see which one performs best uh, and then uh, focus on that one. But if I make two or three ads, is that going to cost me two or three times the money? Not at all. It can actually lead to um, lower um, lower cost per click because if it's a uh, if you have, say, three different ads, and one of them clearly performs better than the rest, we'll start to show that one more, which will lead to better quality score for you as an advertiser, which means that you'll get better positions for potentially lower cost per click. Um, so it's actually a very good idea to have multiple ads. So it really feels like when writing my ads, I should think less about what I want and less about what Google wants, and actually the most about what the users want. Would you say that's true? That is definitely true. Everything that we try to do at Google puts the user first to make sure that they have a positive user experience, ensuring that they find the information that they want as fast as possible. So that's why it's definitely best to put your, yourself in the place of a user uh, and try and understand what they would click through to. Um, because in the end, they're the ones that click through onto the, onto the web page, regardless of what it is that you want to try and push uh, towards a user. They're the ones that are going to decide whether or not they want to visit your website. So definitely try and put yourself in their shoes.